All right. Soon, as in tomorrow morning, we'll be leaving this unusual gîte in Cotignac, France, where we've been staying for the past week. And I want to give you a little tour of the gîte while I have a minute so you can get an idea about it. And I'll put some information about Lucy, who owns this. She's an artist. These are her troglodyte houses here. And she lives in part of one of these, sometimes, I guess. And uh, how you could rent from her. And this is mid-May, uh, so it's early in the season. And this is when we like to vacation also in September, late in the season, because it's much cheaper, we like the weather better, things aren't crowded, not 100% of everything will be open and available, but really, it's just, there's just so much to do in Provence, it's, it's, a, it's not a big thing. So, this jeet is not for everybody, and I am lightly handicapped. They call it leisure handicapé in, in France. And um, this was really a challenge for me. There's no way you can get a car anywhere near here. And walking up here with shopping, uh, even carrying bags, is actually, it could be dangerous. <laughs> uh, we have a backpack a knapsack thing, a pretty substantial one, which was essential. This uh, is a, an, an additional garden with entrance at the side. Uh, one of the troglodyte houses of Lucy has a beautiful lower garden there with proper tables and chairs and stuff that we could have used. We just didn't need it. And this is an additional courtyard because I think she's going to add a room to the place and it's a bit cluttered uh, because there are works going on here but you can see how we're right under the cliffs okay and uh, we took a couple of chairs out out of here and this actually gets completely full of baking sun you know you could definitely grow pot back here I mean they pot just loves places like this <laughs> I don't want to give you any ideas, but, you know, that it just occurred to me. And this is, would actually be great for nude sunbathing because nobody can see you. There's nobody up there. There's no way, you know, the birds could see you. Okay. Now, I don't know what this building is here. I think it's part of the people's houses next door. I see electrical wires. Now, you see, it's really hard for me to walk here. And I've been very fearful about falling all week, and I still am. Even getting in the front door is... We've both nearly fallen. Now, this place is kind of cluttered because we've been here all week. We haven't tidied up our things. We've paid 40 euros to have somebody clean this tomorrow morning and we're going to leave at 10 a.m. These things hanging down are ostensibly to keep some of the bugs out but you know forget it they really don't. This is a fireplace which looks as though it absolutely works. This is a very dangerous fire zone however <laughs> so I don't know about that. And we unplugged the freezer when we got here and left it open slightly because we didn't need it and we wanted to spare the electricity. The TV is not very reliable. And the refrigerator is almost empty. Normal French refrigerator, quite tiny. They're not into ice cubes, you know. This is France. The stove was okay. I know this type. It's very old gas stove. You have to light it with matches, including the oven. Actually, we couldn't get the oven lit. It wasn't a problem. Uh, we could have kept at it. It's a bit cluttered down here. 
but we've been here all week. There's a microwave, a couple of these hot pots, uh, hot plates, three of them in fact, and this is one of those new um, induction ones that people like so much. I hear they're great. This is a typical little French dishwasher. It was very hard for me to figure out and there was no uh, instruction booklet to go with it. The washing machine I couldn't understand either. She had some wash here and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off so she had to pop by the next day and get her stuff out of here. Uh, apparently the booklet is here for it. I found it a bit quirky. This is, uh, she's an artist, this is some of her artwork. You can see the troglodyte aspects of the house. This isn't pure troglodyte, but it's, tr it's you could call it troglodyte. And this is a utility closet. It's nice and cool. In fact, the whole house is, it gets cold in the evening, even in very hot weather. And when we got here, this floor was actually wet, so water does come in. This I'm used to. I've been in houses with, they're up against cliffs and stuff before. And I'm going to take you upstairs. See, there's these stone walls. It's very weird. I got used to it. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous here. It reminds me of the little house we rented in Gord in Provence here. We we both kept smashing ourselves, <laughs> hurting ourselves the first couple of days until we got used to it. Like you, when you're coming up the stairs you can smash your head on this window. I've got the windows up here closed. The bedroom is pretty large but it's only two twin beds unmade. The heater does work and I needed it. This is a, a giant like nursery crib thing for a baby. I would not recommend <laughs> babies or toddlers here. <laughs> it really, I really wouldn't. Absolutely astonishing view. Lovely night skies. Gorgeous mornings. Really terrific. Excellent. And the bell there rings every hour <laughs> from 7 in the morning until 10 at night and every half hour. And it's really a weird space. There isn't a lot of storage here. It's pretty basic. The kitchen, you know, there wasn't even a sharp knife in it. But her house is connected to this one through a couple of doors. And I just popped in there and grabbed a knife out of her kitchen stuff and, you know, returned it. <laughs> I'll mention that to her. This is a, a standard really French uh, bathroom. You know, no bathtub. You're lucky if you get a shower. Uh, there's no bidet. There is a heated towel rack, which I didn't exactly make friends with, but they're handy. And uh, the French are not into them. They don't really generally even know how to install them or use them. They really, they don't understand things like that. Oh, my battery charger I'm going to take downstairs again. Since it's so hard for me to get up and down the stairs, I've had to be very thoughtful about what do I need, what am I going upstairs to get. And the toilet's up here, you know? So, <laughs> it bears some thinking. And really, I was not well the first uh, few days we got here. The train ride down was long from Paris. And, you know, getting the rental car and the heat and going to find some lunch and... And driving a couple of hours through the mountains here, it's not really far, but I was suffering. <laughs> really suffering. Uh, was not good. And my, it wasn't really until about yesterday afternoon, which is already Thursday afternoon, that I started to feel better. But again, my health is very poor, and that's not unusual for me. I think a normal person would have been fine by Sunday morning. There is a great market here on Tuesday morning. It's huge. Prices are good. Uh, I, I love to cook. Even though this kitchen is, is not great for cooking, I'm, 
I'm used to winging it. And he rented a bike from Kacher, I think it's called, a village about nine kilometers from here. Maybe, no, maybe a bit more. One thing about this house is there are tourists going all the time over here to see the the grottos, as they call them, and to climb up into the cliffs as, as much as you can. And they wander into the private garden space here, so this chair is usually kept here as kind of a barricade. The bike rental place he, he used uh, actually will bring the bike here. He met him down by uh, the Office of Tourism, down by the bridge, down by the river here. And there was a deposit and photocopy of the French ID card and stuff like that. It's 15 euros a day. And the man will come and pick up the bike at the same place at 7.30 tonight. It did not come with a lock, uh, but it wasn't a bad deal. And this was his, I think, his first time renting since we've been on vacation. No, it's not. He rented in Arl, which actually he didn't like. The place was okay, but the Mr. Arl makes it extremely unpleasant, and, and it can make it impossible to ride a bike. And it's flat around Arl, and that means you have to pedal constantly. But he still liked it. He loves biking. So that's the story. And uh, this was about 400 euros, including the cleaning and taxes and everything. I don't remember what the deposit was. It was very reasonable. Uh, and renting a jeet, I would say you usually have to speak fluent French. And you have to order them well in advance, possibly the year before. But we really like them, and we've been doing the Gite thing for six years now. See, this this sheet is with Gite de France. They're one of the oldest and most uh, known ones. They're very, very established. And we've tried others, many others. And we've also tried three of the vacation residences, Maeva, Odalis, Pierre Vacances. We like them less because they're a bit too sterile and standardized and they might really end up costing more but it depends so that's the deal and I hope you found this clip useful this region of France is called Provence Vert sort of a, a silly name, really, that they made for the tourists, you know, Green Provence. But it is quite green. Apparently during the, you know, the winter, the the leaves fall off the trees. I've, I've seen photos of it, but usually it's very, very green. There's some people who have been visiting the grottos, and every Sunday and Tuesday at 10 in the morning, you can pay 2 euros and see the grottos and get a tour of the troglodyte house, and it's more than what you can just get into, like the way these people are. But we were in Ville Cause this morning, and for 2.50, um, it was too too much for me physically, I couldn't go. He, he said it was fabulous, uh, you know, there was a lake in there, all these caves, a castle, I waited and I really enjoyed climbing up halfway and, and the gardens and everything and the village has a medieval quarter which is charming beyond belief. So we think that that's better for for a grotto visit as they call it, a cave and cliff visit. But this isn't bad and, and I really enjoyed staying here this week. That's all. See you later. Bye.